Hey, hey, YouTube, Volcanic here, and I'm back, and I'm back with another review for you. Alright, let's take a look at this baby. I got this at Best Buy. Uh, actually, it came in pretty good. The box was in good shape. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, this transport looks pretty awesome from the picturing on the outside. Let's take a quick look at this box. It's a pretty cool box. You know, I love these Mandalorian boxes, you know. They just don't have that same feel as the old Star Wars. I mean, look at this box. You got this guy over here. Look at him. He's like, yeah, you know, you guys go on without me. I'll, I'll catch up to you in a little bit. And then this ship's moving across their sky, and all of a sudden a TIE fighter blows up in the background. And then you got this guy. What's he doing? He's like shooting at the driver. He's like, flip this, I'm out of here. I'm getting out of here. And then you look at these guys over here, and, you know, they're all looking some other way. They're not even looking at him. Well, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. You know, you got to love it. You got to love it. The Empire is just in shambles now. <laughs> But yeah, this box art is pretty cool. This is actually a nice one to display if you display your boxes. Um, it's got all, pretty much all the good poses and stuff on all the corners and sides and stuff. It's the inside. I mean, look at that back, though. They got, they got a crouch to get in there, man. That does not look comfortable. You won't catch me in one of those damn things. Another picture. I like how the you know usually boxes have the same artwork on the you know the both in the front and the back and the sides are kind of the same. This one's a little bit different. It's got different artwork on uh, all the sides and top and stuff. That's kind of the same one from the cover. I still love that dude there. I'm getting out of here. But yeah, this is the box art. Pretty cool. Let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. All right, I got this baby out of the box. It wasn't much to do, man. I just had to cut some rubber bands off the top, and this little gun up here was the only part that comes off and on, which is, you know, pretty cool. Not much work to do here. But yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. Uh, let's take a good look at it. These uh, <clears throat> middle door and back door does not open up. Only the front door right here opens up, which is, I don't know, if you're going to make the doors open up, make the doors open up. Come on. Just make one door open up. That's kind of weird. This one should have probably came down straight down, and that one should open up that way or something. Do something creative with it. Nice. Um, I do like that they got a little top door up here that you can uh, view inside with. Or you can just take the whole cover off. Now it has some pretty nice detail. Nice place to put your rifles. Um, and it's got uh, three chairs in here and these chairs do pop down you can recline them or put them up and down but only these two chairs for some reason the one here in the back that does not open that's just it doesn't work it's just weird again if you're gonna do a job just might as well finish it but uh some great detail great detail in here we got a little uh spot here where you can Look through to the drivers. Place to put your rifles. They got four chairs, which makes ten so far because you got six you can hold out here, four in here, two in there. So there's 12 people. You could squeeze another couple on the back, like they showed you in the picture. And you're not like just you know, obsolete stuff like that. I mean, they got some nice detail on this and most people probably won't even see this. And of course on the bottom, there's some really nice detail. And it's even hard, you know what I mean, if you, you have to look twice, but there are wheels. They're just, they blend them in really nice. And there's another wheel right here. But yeah, blends in really nice. Well, yeah, there's some really good detail on the bottom. I like it. We got some good and more detail underneath here. And uh, the back door is pretty cool. Just in case this thing flips over, rolls over. Looks like these guys got multiple ways of getting out of the ship. And uh, we got some uh, little gunnage right here coming out the side door. It's pretty beat up. Inside here. Open up this side. So you got these little uh, 
they can move all over in all directions. That is pretty cool to have a cockpit like that. Sit back and you know you can kick the computer forward and have a drink and chill. Get up into the business when stuff needs to get done. Pull it up close. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This thing's pretty cool though. I like it. Uh, I have the other ones, but I, I, I couldn't find them to dig them out right now. So uh, some other time we'll do a comparison on the two. Gives me an excuse to make another video on this again. Of course, you know, I am really rusty at making videos. So the more videos I can make and the sooner I can make them, the better. Because I, I really got to get hang of uh, doing this again. I, I, sorry for all the edits and cuts and this and that. And, you know, if there's any ways to improve my videos, please leave a comment below and let me know. But yes, this is the Imperial Troop Transport. They're still in business. The only thing that kind of bugs me a little bit, though, is the color difference from the top piece to the bottom piece. You think the top, you know, being rained on and, and just, you know, that's where all the dust falls and dirt comes out. You know what I mean? You'd think the top would be a little bit dirtier than, you know, you, the sides or the base. But no, it's a little bit cleaner. But yeah, this is a beautiful looking ship. This is cool. Uh, like I said, I got this at Best Buy. And I believe they still have them at Best Buy. And if I'm correct, they dropped the price down like 15, 20 bucks. I think they're down to like, I think they were like $69 what they wanted for this. And now it's down to 49 or 45 or something like that. And uh, I think they got said less than 10 left or 10 left or something like that. So if you're interested in grabbing one of these with a limited time, you could probably head over to Best Buy or uh, I got mine from eBay, the Best Buy uh, site on eBay is where I got mine. So if you're interested, you could probably check it out. I, I, heck, I might even buy another one because I really, really like this. I mean, look at the weathering on it. It's really nice. Let's see if we can get up there. And I love it when the ships come weathered. I don't have to do it myself. Like a nice mark right there. Boop dripping down. I think this actually could use another one a little bit, you know, a little bit more of the, the bolts are, the goop stripping down. on this side, goop dripping down and goop dripping down. A little bit up on the top I saw here, yep, right there. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I think this thing's worth the buy though, especially for the discounted price that they're offering now. So. But yep, this is, this is her, she's beautiful. Holds a good amount of figures, keeps them nice, nice and neat and out of the way. Um, yeah, yeah, soon we'll do a comparison uh, video on the two. So, uh, yeah, this is a short video here. Um, I'll see if I can't pump some more videos out for you today. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please pew pew that like button for me because it really helps. And, um, you know, if you guys got a way to share or help me uh, get some more subscribers, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, we're at like uh, eight something, and uh, you have to have 1,000 subscribers to be able to. Put up little, uh, you know, uh, uh, polls and and little notes and stuff, and you know, be able to ask you guys, you know, you know, pick which video you want me to make today, this or that, and you know, stuff like that. I also have an extensive, extensive uh, ton of of uh, Star Wars games. I think I got them all, and um, you know, maybe we could be live streaming some uh, video games on certain days if you guys are into that. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I'm just trying to make this channel as good as possible. A lot of things have changed since the last time I've been on. So, you know, keep me up to date down there. You know, let me know what you'd love to see me do and what would you like to do. Um, I'll open up the P.O. box again. So if anyone wants me to do a review on a certain figure or something like that, someone can uh, send that in. Um, uh, we'll get things uh, jamming back again. And um, this, will, this will be really, really fun. But, uh, I, again, I want to thank you all for watching and, and um, you know, checking my new videos out I didn't think anybody would be around still but uh, I'm amazed to find out you know a lot of you are still here a lot of you still watching commenting and uh, the, you know the engagement on my videos has been awesome put a big smile on my face um, but yeah I, uh, let's keep this going 
keep the momentum going. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay cool, everybody. Love you. Oh, I almost left without uh, putting some figures in this thing. So I grabbed a handful of figures. These are just not stormtroopers or whatever I grabbed in the box. You know what I mean? It's just whatever. These are troops. We're going to stick these guys in there just to see what they look like. Um, I don't think I grabbed any stormtroopers. Oh, well. I'm just going to put in these guys in there. We'll see what uh, see what it looks like in there. So um, give me a moment. I will be right to buck. All right. I stuck some Mace Windu troops in there. Looking good. You know, I think you could fill quite a bit of stormtroopers in here. Definitely, definitely. Like I said there's a lot of room in there. But yeah, this thing is pretty cool. 